my friends, my extended family. Welcome to another important video on my channel. Thank you for joining me here today. And yes, the Health Anxiety Program is now available. And at any point in this video, if you want to learn more about this transformative program, just click here. And friends, I want to bring you back a little bit before I get into the main part, the main message of this video. I want to bring you back to a time between conception and the age of seven. Between conception and the age of seven, you felt things from mom, you felt things from dad. You heard things from mom, you heard things from dad. And now that you reflect on it, you wish you would have said things to mom, said things to dad, but not only to mom and dad, but you also wish you would have reminded yourself of things from the past as well. Maybe you were emotionally abused. Maybe you were unloved. Maybe you were terrorized. Maybe you had an overbearing helicopter parent. And maybe, just maybe, you wish in that moment you could go back and say, hey, Mom, it wasn't that way and I'm not that kind of person. Hey, Dad, you need to be more appreciative and understanding of who I am and more respectful towards Mom. Now, understand this. Not everybody had a native tongue of English, spoke English as their first language between the time of conception to the age of seven, those golden years of programming. So it's very, very important that starting today, and here's the message, that you start using personal affirmations in your native tongue. It's very, very important that you speak to your inner child that manifests as feelings in your native tongue. It's very, very important that when you speak to those people that you feel have done you wrong in some way, that you speak to them in your native tongue. There's going to be a feeling of discomfort, a feeling of vulnerability. I know this was the case for me when I started to use affirmations in Turkish, since that was what we spoke most often in my household between conception and the age of seven. There's going to be feelings of discomfort and vulnerability. But let me tell you something. That inner child that wished they would have been understood, listened to, and was able to speak up still lives within you. That inner child lives within you. We know it very well as the subconscious mind and body. And this inner child has taken note of every single thing, color, everything that you see, hear, feel, taste, and smell. This inner child has a connection to it, has an interpretation of it. If we want to change those in interpretations and leave anxiety behind once and for all and make peace with peace, we have to speak to it in the language that it was introduced to at the earliest stages of life. So, the next time you're in front of a mirror and you want to speak to yourself and give a, a powerful and feeling run based message to your inner child, speak in your native language and notice how you feel. Notice how different it is from English. If in fact, English wasn't your first language, notice the differences. And as you notice the differences and you begin speaking out loud or in your mind, these affirmations that your inner child needs to hear today, notice the difference between first language and second language. My friends, this is the message today. 
And it's very important that you take it to heart because it's going to make a lasting difference in your life. Trust me, it did for me. And I do believe that when we speak to ourselves in our mind or aloud in our native tongues, it's that much more powerful. And the inner child gets the message at the deepest levels because there are things that this inner child still needs to hear. And hear from who? Hear from you. Hear from the experienced, adult, conscious mind. I say this to a lot of people. If you want to heal your anxiety, if you want to leave the label of anxiety disorder behind for good, the most important relationship that you need to build is between thought and feeling, between conscious mind and inner child. So as you go through your day, speak in your native tongue to the inner child. Let the inner child know that this world is a safe place. Let the inner child know that you can become curious about things again. Let the inner child know that self-care is not selfishness. The most important person that you have to be gentle towards is your own inner child because he or she is still living in a world of fear. And yes, at every turn, this inner child looks to protect, looks to protect through symptoms. And these could be physical or mental. You could be replaying the same ideas each and every day. And when these moments appear, so does self-love, so does understanding, so does compassion and gentleness as you speak to the inner child in your native tongue. Do this on a daily basis. Don't question it, but you can reflect on it a little bit. This is okay. Remember, it's okay to reflect, but it's not okay to overanalyze. There is no need to overanalyze what it is you're doing, how you're doing it, my friends. Leave the results to themselves. Focus on the process. And if this video spoke to you, please, Leave a comment down below. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Remember that you are more than anxiety. Enjoy your new type of affirmations. Bye-bye, my friends.